Hello, this video is about using and configuring PowerMic Mobile for Dragon Medical 1. First, we'll go over the buttons and how to configure them using Dragon Medical 1. Uh, so let's first take a look at those settings. Uh, in order to look at those settings, you do need to make sure your microphone is set to use the PowerMic Mobile application. And then you can go down to the Options window here and then choose your Microphone Buttons Settings tab here. This shows you a diagram of all of the buttons and what they do. Um, by default, you have your uh, microphone button for recording on and off here. If you use templates with field markers, you can go back and forth to the different field markers in your template. And if you are using the dictation box to transfer your text into an EMR or other application, you can uh, bring up the dictation box manually with this button, and then when you're done dictating, you can press the check mark button to transfer it into your application. These uh, buttons you can uh, assign different tasks to. If you don't use the dictation box, you may uh, want to use uh, other um, uh, features of the application for uh, different things. So you can customize this however you'd like here. So once you've customized the uh, application the way you like, you can simply go ahead and click into your EMR or other application, Word or Outlook, whatever it is that you want to use, and go ahead and press the uh, microphone button on your app in order to uh, start using the application. Patient reports progressively worsening chest pain over the past six months while exercising, comma, denies headaches or sudden visual changes, period. And once you're done dictating, just press the microphone button to turn it off and you are good to go. That's all you need to know to use the Dragon Medical PowerMic mobile application.